Hi, Kesha. Good morning to all of you. Hello, guys. Good morning. Yes, do you hear me? Anyone can you confirm me? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, Thank yes. you for your response. Thank you. I hope everyone hear me. Yes, sir. Uh, if anyone unable to hear me, just resign. Just if anyone anyone unable to unable to hear me, anyone. Yes, unable to hear. Maybe problem from your side. Unable to hear me. Just resign. Just resign enough chat. Just resign. Just resign it session. Yes, I think some girl is showing offline. Everyone is online. Yes, Navya. Yes, she has to resign. Navya has to resign. Yes, uh, she unable to hear me, I think. Yes, uh, just rejoin. Yes, yes, anyone, anyone unable to hear me, just resign enough here. Yeah. Okay, just, I think she has to resign. I think she's uh, showing offline. Okay. So let us start our session. Yes, first of all, what is Hadoop? First two question is what is Hadoop? Okay. First we'll see what is Hadoop. The in our course, yes, we are going to discuss many kind of things. Yeah, this is a beginning. Okay, so what is Hadoop? So from the beginning, this is what is Hadoop here. In Hadoop, there are different modules. The different modules we'll discuss next. First of all, what is Hadoop? What is the purpose of Hadoop? Okay, let us see first introduction. So after that, yeah, is just starting today. Starting today, topping only. Yes, sir. Uh, select your yes, sir. Uh, Sharon is asking. Yes, Sharon, just you, you select audio option while resigning. Yes, audio option while resigning. While joining. Select this while joining. Select this. We select audio option while joining this. Yes. Select that option. Yes, I think now we now you able to audible, right? It's showing in green color. Still many have to join. I think. Now, everyone, do you hear me? Yes, do you hear me? I'm asking about Charan. Charan, this guy is asking, unable to hear me. 
of this case. Yes, I think, uh, yeah. I hope everyone hear me fine. Not audible. No, uh, from your side, check your from your side. Yes, rejoin, rejoin, just rejoin is the option. Rejoin. If unable to hear me, just rejoin. Okay. I hope everyone hear me so I can start. Okay. Everyone hear me. Yes, about Sharon, do you hear me? Yes, so here one side is saying that yes, I can hear everyone, almost everyone saying that hear me. Okay, fine. So let us start. So what is Hadoop? Okay. Yes, in Hadoop, different modules we are going to discuss. So different modules going to discuss. What are the modules are going to discuss? Yes, I'll cover later. So first, basically care how to. So first, core modules. First, core modules of how to care. Core modules. Core modules. First, core modules. In core modules, first one is HDFS. HDFS. Second one is MapReduce. HDFS and MapReduce. Yes, after finishing is yes, next ecosystem, nothing but sub modules. So, next is sub modules, sub modules of Hadoop ecosystems, ecosystems, ecosystems. In ecosystems, here one second. First one, hi. So, first one, hi. So, next, first one, hi. After finishing, hi. Next is two going to discuss. After finishing scope, so next one is pig. Pig. After finishing this, yes. next week. Catch base. Yes, next to plume. These things. Plume. These things. So next up. Yes, apart from this, AWS. AWS cloud. Cloud instance. Cloud instance. Yes, in this. Yes, uh, first one EC2 instance, EC2 and EMR. EMR instance, these things we'll, we are going to discuss. Okay. Yes, we'll see what's the purpose of each and every yeah, Zookeeper also. Yes, sixth one Zookeeper is going to cover. Zookeeper. Yes, come with covering Zookeeper also, no problem. Sixth one Zookeeper. It's covering. Yes, I forgot list of this one here. Zookeeper covering. Okay, covering this is so these things going to cover all this. Okay, what's the purpose of each and every module? Next we'll discuss next. Okay, right. So first let us start from the beginning. What is Hadoop? What is Hadoop? Okay. So before going to Hadoop, first of all, big data concepts are there. After finishing big data concepts, you have to start Hadoop here. Okay. So first what is Hadoop here? Hadoop simply we can define like this. Hadoop, Hadoop is a framework. Hadoop is a framework. Hadoop is a framework to store and process to store and process big data. This is simple definition. So what is Hadoop? Hadoop is a framework. Hadoop is a framework to store and process to store and process big data. Simple definition. What is exactly Hadoop? Hadoop is a framework to store and process big data, right? So first of all, we should discuss what is big data. Once, yes, it's a framework, okay, framework to store and process big data, okay? Yes, so what is Hadoop? Hadoop is a framework to store and process big data, okay? See, these things later we'll discuss uh, these modules. What is HDFS? What is MapReduce? Okay, so what is Hive, Scoop, Peak, and HBase? That worry we'll discuss next. 
what's the purpose of different kind of these things we'll discuss next year okay so how do we say framework to store and process big data now question is big data what is big data nowadays everyone talking about big data big data many companies are facing facing big data problems so what is big data big data just yes, almost 10 years back that big data issue started 2010 started many companies since 2010 using big data okay yes my big data my job started in 2013 2013 years started working with big data so exactly what is big data yes exactly what is big data Yes, one second, still one more guy. Yes, uh, this guy still problem. Yes, Cheryl, uh, try to connect from phone also. Connect from phone also. Both you can use. Yes, try to connect from your mobile. Mobile from the mobile also you can connect both mobile and computer. Both. So computer you can see you can for visibility next to for listening you can use mobile. You can use this too. Yeah, of course, uh, the app is better on uh, desktop. Yeah, suppose uh, audibility, yes, problem. Audibility problem, then you can use mobile. Mobile for audi audibility. Okay. Yes, uh, now. Yes, what is big data? Let us see. What is big data? So, what is how do how do you use a framework to store and process big data? Okay, fine. Now, first of all, what is big data? Nowadays, everyone talking about big data, big data, big data. Okay, many companies, thousands of companies. Once upon a time, just only tens of companies, hundreds of companies facing big Nowadays, thousands of companies facing big data problem. Many companies facing big data issues. So what is exactly big data? Let us simple, I'll tell you simple definition. What is your big data? Suppose let us take your computer, just your computer, just your computer. Let us take your computer, your computer, right? Suppose your computer hard disk, yes, hard disk, your computer hard disk. Suppose hard disk capacity, capacity hard disk letter. Let us say hard disk capacity is let us say one TB disk in our system. They say one TB disk, right? One TB disk. So, for simple definition, yes, see your computer hard disk capacity one TB. One second. Yes, I'm taking some water. Yes, your computer hard disk capacity 1 TB, right? 1 TB. Okay. Yes, let us say, yes, your computer purchased in 2015. Okay. Next, storing some data. Next, 2016 year, 2017 year, 2018 year, 2019, 2020, like this, right? Yes, using your disk, 1 TB disk, right? Storing some data. Suppose maybe movies. Maybe your, maybe your personal, yes, your family, yes, videos, function videos, and all this, right? Continuously storing, right? Okay. So, continuously, yes, your computer, suppose hard disk capacity only 1 TB here. So, 2015 purchase here, next year 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, like this. Suppose filled, still data is there. There's still many audios, many videos to store. 
has filled that capacity hard disk capacity completed okay one db is completed still data is there still data is there suppose you still if you want to store your some function videos right your videos still data is there that means you facing big data problem now now you facing big data problem yes your disk capacity is only 1 tb but lot of data generating yes your personal data generating right? maybe office data yes maybe yes uh, personal data yes maybe something like this like this your data is more than the capacity right? so 1 tb disk your system is only 1 tb, 1 TB disk but whatever data generating for you that is more than 1 tb means you facing big data problem you facing big data problem simply you facing big data problem okay similarly let us take some company suppose for example i have a company for example assume that i have a company i have a company yes with initial storage capacity initial storage capacity yes initial storage storage capacity initial storage capacity initial storage capacity yes let us say 100 tb initial storage capacity 100 tb my disk capacity is 100 tb your database server let me take database server database server this is suppose this database server so this database server capacity let us say 100 tb right 100 tb 100 tb suppose my company yes my company started started yes in the year started in the year yes started in the year Yes, such in the year 2015. 2015. In this year, my company started. Okay. At the time of starting company here, yes, 100 TB, 100 TB server capacity. That server capacity. Okay, database server capacity. 100 TB. 2015. Next year 2016. Next year 2017. Next year 2018. 2019. 2020. Right? Like this. So yes, goes on. What happens? Business increasing, right? As business increasing automatically, what happens to transactions increasing? When transactions increasing, what happens? Data generates a lot of data generated. Data also increasing, right? If transactions are more, data more, automatic data more, right? So more data more generating, right? Okay. Yes, here 2020. So disk is filled. 100 TB completed. 100 TB disk filled. Okay, still data is there. Still data generating. Wait to store. The data has to store, right? means now my company facing big data problem just facing big data problem so my capacity my company capacity only 100 tb but whatever the incoming data that incoming data is more than 100 tb right incoming data is more than 100 tb means now i am facing big data problem my company facing big data problem so what is exactly big data here so big data what is exactly big data yes any amount of data see any amount of data any amount of data maybe 1 tb data or 10 tb data 100 tb data maybe petabytes of data any amount of data any amount of data which is behind of the storage limit what is storage capacity 100 tb so behind of 100 tb data generating that is called as big data okay suppose company capacity may be 10 tb maybe 10 petabytes of data still data is there yes your storage capacity 10 petabytes of data but still data is there unable to store means facing big data problem so more than the capacity right? what's the capacity only 10 petabytes but still lot of data generating storage problem right so this is called as big data here so what is big data so any amount of data which is beyond of storage limit beyond of storage limit that is called as big data any amount of data which is beyond of storage limit what is storage limit here maybe 100 100 terabytes right the company for example company yes that data center storage limit maybe 100 tb here 100 tb but data is more than that capacity more data is more than that capacity okay more data is more than that capacity right that is called as big data simply you can define like this any amount of data yes any amount of data which is which is b end of which is b end of which is b end of storage limit any amount of data which is b end of storage limit which is b end of storage limit right storage limit is called as big data storage limit called as big data called as big data right any amount of data which is b end of storage limit called as big data here okay which is b end of storage limit 
he is called as big data just he called as big data clear so this is simple definition what is big data anyone asking question here simply you can answer this what is big data okay so what is big data any amount maybe 1 tb 1 petabyte or gigabyte whatever is here any amount of data which is beyond of storage limit called as big data suppose your personal computer your computer suppose your computer maybe 1 tb data 1 tb capacity the disk capacity 1 tb but many videos maybe are there to store right okay see attending classes for this class some videos right maybe some functions your personal functions videos maybe some office data like this lot of things right many things have to store okay but capacity only 1 tb but data is more than that capacity means you facing big data problem okay yes in your personal computer you facing big data problem right so data is more than the capacity of your computer data is more than capacity of your disk right so you facing big data problem that's the meaning of big data so what is big data any amount of data which is beyond of storage limit called as big data clear yes i'll tell you one more example for understanding big data see one byte one byte one byte equal to how many bits one byte equal to eight bits right one byte equal to eight bits yeah that is well known for you one byte equal to eight bits next one kb after bytes next kb one kb equal to 1024 bytes yes one kb equal to 1024 bytes after kb next what mb kilobytes next megabytes one megabyte is equal to 1024 kilobytes right 1024 kilobytes kb so after megabytes next gigabytes one gb equal to 1024 megabyte right megabytes so one gb is equal to 1024 megabytes yes after t yes after gb next terabytes see 10 to the power of 3 so k means thousand 10 to the power of 3 right yes megabytes 10 to the power of 6 10 to the power of 9 next 10 to the power of 12 so 1 tb equal to yes 1024 gigabytes gb is right 1 tb okay after tb yes next what petabytes so 10 to the power of 15 1 petabyte equal to 1024 yes uh, one second yes so 1024 1024 terabytes 1024 terabytes after petabytes next exabytes one exabyte is equal to 1024 petabytes yes after that zettabytes next is zettabytes one zettabyte equal to 1024 exabyte right exabyte okay fine now see here so first one byte equal eight bits yeah this is well known for you these are the fundamentals in software fields anyone must have this knowledge kilobytes megabytes gigabytes terabytes petabytes exabytes jettabytes kb 10 to the power of 3 10 to the power of 6 next 10 to the power of yes uh, 10 to the power of yes 9 see 10 to the power of 3 10 to the power of 6 next 10 to the power of 9 yes next 12 15 18 and 21 right 21 right okay yes in this up to gb comes under some small data up to gb is a small data here just it's a small data up to gb it's a small data range this is small data see in old days here we used to generate only small amount of data like uh, by, like like uh, like two, 2005 before 2005 only used to generate gbs of data after 2005 started generating terabytes of data now it's generating petabytes of data also some applications even generating petabytes of data also okay now industry reach to petabytes of data also not on terabytes yes industry reach to petabytes okay yes uh, petabyte this range see here small data this range up to gbs comes under small data up to gbs is a small data okay now terabyte to see terabyte to petabytes terabyte petabyte this comes under big data range so this is big data range so this is big data range this is one more example of this okay big data range see here up to gbs comes under small data up to gbs it's a small data so up to gbs it's a small data yes a terabyte to petabyte this range terabyte to petabyte this range called as big data this is big data range big data range so this range called as big data this is called as big data here this is one more example of big data so one more example of big data right 
So one more example of big data. Yes, I'll tell you one example here to understand big data. One more example I'll tell you to understand big data. Suppose one terabyte. So what is exactly one terabyte? How to understand this data volume? How much volume of data generating in your company? Maybe asking this kind of questions. Okay, how much volume of data? Maybe one TB data. Someone saying that one TB data. Someone saying that petabytes of data. Exactly what is one TB here? One TB means how much? How to understand here? How to understand one TB? How to understand that? Yes, let us see. Yes, in terms of movies. Yeah, that is well known for you. In terms of movies. Let me explain in terms of movies. Okay. Yes, one movie. For example, if you have one movie, movie. Look at one movie. Suppose one hour playing one hour. One hour movie. Okay. Is equal to how much? Yes, how much amount of data? One hour movie is equal to almost to 100 MB. 100 MB. 100 MB playing per one hour. One hour movie, 100 MB. Okay, so regularly our like movies like Telugu movies, Hindi movies, uh, Hindi movies, and these our movies, right? Yes, two and a half or three hours means around 300 MB, right? Yes, movie around 300 MB. Yes, what are that movies like Telugu, Hindi, English, and all these movies, right? Yes, one hour movie, if it is one hour movie, 100 MB, right? 100 MB. Okay, that means here, suppose 1024 MB is equal to 1 GB, right? So 1 GB data, suppose if it is 1 GB data movie here, playing for 10 hours, 10 hours, right? Yes, like this you can understand, 10 hours. 1 GB data, 10 hours. Okay, 10 hours, right? 1 GB, it's a 10 hours. 10 hours, playing for 10 hours, right? 1 GB, playing for one hour. Sorry, 10 hours. Okay, suppose your class, yes, your class may be taking for one and a half hour. So one and a half hour, right? Yes, maximum maybe yes, uh, 150 MB. Your recording should be 150 MB. Your class recording is 150 MB. Your class recording just only 150 MB. Okay, right. So you care 1024 MB is nothing but 1 GB. So 1 GB data playing for 10 hours. 1 GB data, right? Now it's 1 terabyte of data. How many hours will play here? 1 terabyte of data. Suppose 1 terabyte of data is equal to how much here? 1024 MB, right? 1024, 1024 GB, 1024 GB, right? That means how much here? So here, so 1 GB playing for 10 hours. Yes, then, yes, 1 GB, 1024, yes, 1024 GB. 1 GB for 10 hours, 1024 GB, how much here? Yes, 1024, multiplied by 10, right? So 10 is equal to, this value is equal to, yes, 10,024 hours, right? Yes, this is. 10,240 hours. That's it. Yes, you can understand like in terms of movies. Try to understand in terms of movies. What is 1 TB? Yes, try to understand in terms of movies then easy. Okay. So one hour just playing for, yes, one hour movie just 100 MB here. Just like this you can understand simply here. Because this is a way of understanding data. Way of understanding data. Okay. Fine. Now. Yes. So this is a, what is big data? basic just basic definition here what is big data so any amount of data which is paid of storage limit called as big data simple definition yes here big data terabytes to gigabytes comes under big data terabytes to gigabytes this range comes under big data yes up to gigabytes up to gbs is a small data right okay fine so this is just a basic definition of big data fine Yes, uh, here we'll see some examples of big data. What are the sources of big data here? Let us see sources. So what are the sources? What are the sources of big data? Let us see some sources of big data here. What are the sources? Yes, main source, historical data. Some company maintaining historical data. So historical data is the best example of big data. Historical data. So historical data. What is historical data? Historical data means world data, right? World data is historical data. So exactly what is historical data? Yes, let us see that. Yes, there are two things here. Historical data, next transactional data. Historical data, first one, historical data. 
historical yes historical data second one transactional data historical data and transactional data so transactional data historical data and transactional data okay historical data and transactional data so what is historical data what is transactional data historical data means previous years data old data comes in historical data so historical data yes previous years data okay previous years all the previous years comes in historical data previous years previous years data it's a previous yes previous years previous years data okay previous years yes previous years data comes in historical data see once year closed financial year once financial year closed then it's historical data yes india march 31st right once march 31st year closing so once year closed that's the historical data suppose yes december 31st december 31st that day year closing right once the balance sheet submitted company every company submitting balance sheet, right so once the balance sheet submitted so once the balance sheet submitted okay that comes under historical data so once the balance sheet submitted closing that year once financially are closed that data comes from the historical data right so what is transaction data so this is day to day data right day to day data day to day data here this is. so daily data right comes from transaction data see transaction data can be modified any time transaction data can be modified but historical data cannot be modified here yeah, once balance is submitted we can't change historical data historical data cannot be modified transactional data can be modified anytime you can modify the transaction data modifications updating records yes you can update transactional data can be modified but historical data should not be okay transactional data suppose some transaction let us take some transaction suppose for example here in flipkart you place some order right suppose some order placed some order placed right suppose order placed so what is the status of that order so initially status order placed right order placed so first what is status status what is status first is placed order placed right yes after placing order you have to confirm it okay add it to cart adding to cart right so first item next item next item adding to cart okay that has to confirm so next status is confirmed right see once you add it to cart that record will generate once you add it to cart that record will generate here okay after generating the card here yes next you have to confirm place the but not confirmed here okay but not confirmed maybe canceling the chance of canceling right so confirmed status is confirmed so once you confirmed so what is next yes under processing this is so next status is order under processing so processing right processing next status okay sub processed after processing what is next step shipping shipping to customer location next status shipping right shipping to customer location that means what is happening that record is updating right the record being updated shipping the status is what shipping status right okay next after that after shipping next delivered to customer next status is delivered delivered next status delivered right delivered so customer received after receiving customer you will inspect the item right after inspecting item here this accepting or rejecting accepted suppose let us say accepted accepted right accepted once accepted here payment issued payment received next status is payment or waiting for payment or payment received payment received right payment received okay yes payment is right once payment is closed transaction that's it here so initially order placed so initially yes open first initially it's a first it is open open okay after open order placed yes next step. placed confirmed processing yes shipping delivered accepted payment is then close right means transaction completed so what is happening in the transaction is updating right see between open and closed may be taking some days right maybe seven days seven working days or three working days depends on item right yes yeah, that's that one week status being updated right so that is nothing but transactional data the transaction the transaction happening right 
that marks live data it's modified that is called a transaction data so transaction data can be modified at any time transaction data can be modified at any time but historical data should not be modified suppose last year data if you trying to modify what happens here that will reflect on your balance sheet right company balance sheet no should not be modified historical data should not be modified yes how do we for what historical data not for transaction data how do we to analyze the yes historical data that okay transaction data traditional systems are using for transaction data traditional systems like like oracle database next may mysql these are using for the transactional daily day to day data historical data is for how do we use for the historical data next one more level spark spark is for both transactional and the historical for both here live streaming okay yes may not be understanding spark at this stage okay so this is about historical data so when you storing historical data it comes as big data right? it's a big data historical data is a big data suppose one year data no problem two years data no problem three years four years five years maybe 10 years of data storing 10 years of data is not easy right it's a big data so big data best example is historical data right? historical data okay historical data right? so this is a first example yes best example for big data is a yes historical data historical data comes under big data maybe 10 years of data storing maybe 20 years of data storing it's a, that is called as big data right okay next one more example i'll tell you black box black box data also big data black box generates big data black box every day generates lot of data black box okay yes black box generates yes big data what is black box any idea what is black box any idea of about black black box yes anyone what is black box no idea no idea black box means not testing black box testing and white box testing maybe you heard about this one black box and the white box that is different this difference here that is different this difference here so what is black box black box yes it is a component yes it is a just it's a component of error plane it's a component of error plane right now you got some idea it's a component of error plane it's a component of error plane it's a component of error plane right yes uh component it's a component of error plane yes in error plane there's every error plane there's a cockpit right yes cockpit it's a room where pilot sitting there black box right black box yes it's a just it's a data recorder yes simply exactly you can say it's a data recorder it's a data recorder so data recorder okay yes it's a data recorder yes black box is a data recorder recorder in the aeroplanes aeroplanes right data recorder data recorder yes what it will do here black box it's a data recorder so what it will do here yes what it will do yes recording everything so what are the transactions happening so what are the transactions happening all the transactions recording in the aeroplane okay just like a like a transaction like a yes conversation between flight crew members like conversation yes conversation conversation yes conversation between yes flight crew flight crew so what is flight crew is nothing but flight staff flight staff yes sir uh, flight staff in that yes main main pilot yes every yes every flight okay every flight there are two pilots main pilot and second pilot main pilot is a captain captain plus next others others like uh, mechanical engineer yes flight crew contains two pilots one mechanical engineer one supervisor next here was this it's a flight crew right so the conversation between flight crew members recording the black box conversation yes apart from this conversation here yes main pilot is a captain right captain get that captain yes uh, captain see captain yes captain sometimes 
yes sometimes sometimes one second sometimes we'll talk to atc right we'll talk to atc atc a traffic con controlling system right atc a traffic controlling system yes in every airport this a is right in every airport this atc yes before landing to airport yes captain should talk to atc yes yes the atc should give the route clearance without giving route clearance okay yes recording audio record audio yes i am recording this is don't worry so captain sometimes will talk to atc right sometimes talk to atc here talk to atc here yes before landing to airport yes traffic should be clear once traffic is clear landing to airport right so for that reason captain first of all will talk to atc here after getting yes after getting confirmation from the after getting route clearance from atc here then you will land at the airport otherwise cannot so that information atc so what are the conversation between captain and atc that will be recorded in the black box next apart from this flight information like uh, what is the altitude of the flight flying in which direction flight is moving suppose flight is moving across mountains that will be recording see that will be re recording everything will be recorded right okay like this many things like a black box it will record many things okay just it's a recorder data recorder in the aeroplanes okay for flights okay just it's a conversation between flight crew members next between captain and adc care next current flight information like what's altitude flight is flying what's the direction flight is moving the direction of moving care okay like this all that weather information next what's the current feel how much feel is in your yes, flight that all that information recording with black box okay this black box generates yes 20 gb data per hour this generates 20 gb data per hour sir. per hour 20 gb data per hour okay 20 gb data okay 20 gb data per hour right okay suppose per travel how much data suppose uh, for example here yes chicago to hyderabad uh, sorry hyderabad to chicago for example here hyderabad to chicago chicago hyderabad to chicago yes this is travel 36 hours travel right 36 hours 36 hours yes going there and coming back to and fro totally yes 72 hours delay and all this 80 hours per travel it's 80 hours okay per travel yes maybe taking for 80 hours per travel it's 80 hours right 80 hours yes 80 hours how much data so per travel yes 80 hours multiplied by 20 gb yes this value is going to how much here 1600 gb data right? this much of data generating this is called as big data 1600 gb data generating per travel right per travel 1600 gb data right so this is one one travel right yes in a month how many travels 10 travels yes flight 10 travels in a month 10 travels so 10 travels how much here 10 travels how much 16000 right this is 16000 gb here 10 travels if it is 10 travels yes how much how much data here 1600 gb is that means that is equal 1600 gb is equal to 1600 terabytes of data right yes 1 gb as c 1000 gb means 1 terabyte around 10 1 terabyte 16000 gb means 1600 terabytes of data generated right one flight is generating 1600 terabytes of data this is in a month in a month generating right like this many flights british airways they have the 200 flights around 200 flights then how much did i get 200 multiplied by 16 that value is equal to yes how much 3200 terabytes of data right where to store all this data here yes they have to big storage right they must have big storage here okay 3200 terabytes of data right okay yes this is per month yes next per year next maybe one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, all this data, right? That is calculated. All the data has to maintain it. Yes, this kind of data is called big data. This is one more example of big data. Okay. So historical data, so years of data, next black box data. So this is called big data. There are big data examples here. Okay. Yes, we'll see one more example here. Yes, social network sites. Social network sites. Total ne social network sites. Social network sites. 
Yes, like uh, like Facebook. If Facebook is generating four petabytes of data per day, four petabytes of data per day, just you take in Google, it shows how much data is generating by Facebook per day. Four petabytes of data, this much of data generating per day here. Huge amount of data generated. Where to store four petabytes of data? Okay, four petabytes of data. Next, YouTube. Yes, YouTube. Yes, like this, sir. Many things, many social network sites like this. So YouTube, next WhatsApp data, right? WhatsApp, WhatsApp data, WhatsApp data. Okay, WhatsApp, Facebook data, WhatsApp data, YouTube data, next Gmail data, mails. Lot of mails happening at Gmail data. Okay, Gmail data. Next, yes, Google search engine data. The Google search engine data. Yes, all these some big data examples here. The source of big data here. Okay, so Gmail. Like this, the Gmail data here. Yes, Google data. Yes, like this. Yes, different social network sites. We are generating lot of data every day, right? Yes, they are all are facing big data. Almost to, yes, uh, top thousand companies are facing big data problem. Yes, including Flipkart, Flipkart, Amazon, okay, Facebook, okay, YouTube, WhatsApp, Gmail, Google. Yes, even Oracle Corporation also facing big data problem. Walmart, even Walmart also facing big data problem. Yes, almost top 1000 companies are facing big data problems. They have the big data centers. All right, okay. So, this is a uh, one more example. Yes, one more example. Yes, uh, like uh, stock exchange, right? So, one more example stock exchange. Stock exchange data, right? Stock exchange. Yes, New York Stock Exchange. Yes, Mumbai Stock Exchange. Yes, BSC Cordes, Bombay Stock Exchange. See, New York Stock Exchange. Very big trading center, right? Trading shares. New York. Okay. Yes, uh, see, here, New York, which is famous for the trading here. Yes, uh, I think you heard about this New York Times Square. Okay, New York Times Square here. New York Times Square. See, yes, at New York Times Square, yet, almost every company will have the office. It's a prestigious for the companies. Every company will have the office at New York Times Square. Okay, New York Times Square, it's a famous. Every company, almost world famous companies get every company will have their office at the New York Times Square. Very famous, is right? Yes, here trading center, yes, New York, New York Stock Exchange. At New York Times Square, at this location itself, here. lot of trading every day, lot of trading every day. Okay, many companies, many listed companies here, many shares. Okay, many, many shares information. All the shares information they have to maintain. Right? Suppose I want to buy some share. How to decide it? Based on what history? Right? I will consider history. I will check the history. So what? What is the share value today? Yesterday value. Okay. Day before as last three days, considering last three days or last three months, last three years. Okay. Yes, to buy any share, just I'll ask for can you provide last three years of the share performance? I'll ask that, right? They have to provide last three years performance, right? Okay, last three years or last four years. By considering all that history, I'll purchase share, right? They should provide more than this. Historical data they have to maintain. Okay. So not only Transaction later, even historical later also. Maybe 10 years after they have to mean, right? So big data, nothing much here. It's a big data. So this is one more example of this. Big data, right? Yes, like this. We can discuss many number of examples. For example, banking data. Banking data also comes from big data, right? Banking data. Suppose some customer asking for, yes, three years statement or five years, right? Suppose one month statement is immediate, you can get it, right? One month statement. Yes, in, in your net account, you can submit one month statement within one minute, we'll get it. Because it's in live, in live, the data is available, live servers. World data, historical data, the form backup, it's a backup data. World data is a backup data. Okay. Suppose someone asking for, suppose if you just you submit request for three months, three years of statement, what happens? Will they provide immediately? No, they will take some time here, minimum three hours. Means backup data. They should get the data from backup also, right? Live, yes. Current year data means live. From the live servers, they will get it here. Providing that statement immediately. But three years of statements, they can't, they will take some time. 
because the data should read from the yes then backup backup server right time taken three years data four years data some customer may be some customer may be asking for 10 years of request address right 10 years okay 10 years of statement as right okay for example nero modi scam yes he has taken loan 10 years back right so yes yes generally required 10 years of statement right yes cb asking for 10 years of statement yes they should provide yes, that is big data 10 years of data maintaining yes for cb they have to provide 10 years of data 10 years of statement right okay nero modi case okay so 10 years of data right so yes 10 years of it's not easy here that is big data okay that is historic, historical data means main example historical data is example of big data banking data okay like this lot of examples you can discuss okay online shopping like uh, flipkart or amazon online shopping data okay next year. yes uh, telecom data yes all this telecom data okay telecom data okay telecom data comes from big data here telecom data next uh, transport data transport data transport data for example indian railways many passengers okay so many passengers traveling every day right all the passenger information next trains information routes information everything you have to get maintain right yes even not only information historical information here passengers last 10 years information right that is historical data all that information it's not easy it's a big data right it's a big data okay suppose for example ola caps ola caps how many caps they have so caps information drivers information next what's the route in which route that cap is traveling right see whenever any cap is traveling route that is generating data right automatically that app generates data so and so direction traveling how much time traveling here how much charged everything is generating data right like this how many caps many caps they are maintaining right all the data has to okay store right that is big data okay right next weather information weather information Yes, the weather information, right? Weather information, weather forecasting, right? Weather information, the forecasting, right? Yes, uh, ISRO data. Nothing but this is ISRO data here. Yes, ISRO data. Yes, ISRO will maintain that weather information, all this. ISRO will maintain all the data. ISRO data. Okay, NASA. NASA data. Like this, all this is called a big, yeah, big data examples. Just this is the introduction. What is exactly big data to understand this? This much of examples explains. Like this, we can discuss many number of examples. Insurance data. Suppose some vehicles are insurance for 30 years, 20 years, right? Suppose so car insurance may be 15 years. Every year paying insurance, right? Suppose take some trucks, 30 years of insurance, 40 years of insurance. Yes, human being, life insurance. Okay, life insurance may be 100 years, right? Maybe 80 years. That all that information has to meet on this. Next, medical data. Okay, see, go to any corporate hospital here, they will scan prescription. Every day, prescription, every doctor prescription, everything they will scan it. That information they have to maintain, right? Okay, how, how they can provide better treatment for the customers based on the historical treatments. Suppose, for example, take Apollo hospitals, Apollo. Yes, Apollo famous for, yes cardiac right apollo heart specialist right famous for cardiac they have many center sectors worldwide then apollo how they can provide better treatment for their patients better treatment they will record everything every prescription they will scan it every prescription across the worldwide many centers are there here many doctors different doctors same specialist specialization is same but prescription may be different, right? Their knowledge different, experience different, right? Based on experience, they will provide some treatment, right? Okay. So out of all these doctors, different doctors, different advice, different prescription, right? So all the prescriptions, they will maintain this. Out of all the prescriptions, which is the best one? Top 10 prescription, they will analyze top 10. Okay, based on the top 10 care, they can provide better treatment for the, their patients. How they can provide better treatment here by storing all that historical prescription maybe last three years or last four years all different doctors across world world right okay so providing better treatment for their patients so they should analyze that historical data 
means it's nothing but big data. All this comes under big data like this. Like this, many examples, insurance data, medical data, transport data, telecom data, banking data. Okay, next, online shopping data. Okay, all this comes under, yes, big data. They are the big data examples. Okay, I think now you got some idea, right? What is big data? Everyone, you got some idea now. What is big data exactly? I hope everyone, you got some idea. What is big data exactly? Just its introduction. What is big data introduction? Just its introduction. What is big data? Just its introduction. Okay. Yes, so practically we'll see. In Hadoop, we are going to process big data practically. How to process big data in Hadoop? What are the ways? What are the tools to process big data? Maybe using MapReduce, maybe using Hive, different kind of things using to process big data. You'll see practically. Yes, when you're processing big data, what is happening? Yes, I'll show practically. It's not theory explanation here. Everything is hands-on. Okay, hands-on experience. Now, hands-on experience, you'll get it here. See, by the time of finishing course, you can put up five to six years of experience. That is my guarantee. Five to six years of experience you can put up. Yes, you can put up. This is my guarantee. Here. I'll give that much of knowledge. Five to six years of experience you can put up. Okay. That much of uh, that much of experience is a practical hands on. Everything is hands on, hands on. It's not theory. Everything very clearly. I'll explain this. Minimum five to six years of experience you can claim it by the time of finishing this. Okay. Next one more. My advice is be strong in Linux also. Be strong in Linux also. That is recommended for Hadoop. Okay. Be strong. Okay. No, already verification is already working, guys. Already working. Guys. They wanted to ship to not fake experience. Fake experience nowadays nobody is not possible. Not possible. Already working, guys. Already working some company. Okay. Yes, yeah, definitely. I will provide your hands. That's what I'm saying. Hands on. Yes, with examples, with big data, with the data, with the big data, with the big data, and with big, big, big tables. Yes, all the data. Tables with 10 fields, 20 fields, 30 fields, with big data in environment. Yes, 100% production environment. Otherwise, what's the use of my experience? I should show my experience. Okay. See, generally here, for trainers, most of the trainers learning somewhere and teaching somewhere. No, that is not my way. So if I work, I can, I will start. Otherwise, without working, that is not correct. Learning somewhere and teaching somewhere, making money, no. That is not my policy here. Okay. Yes, while working, I'm taking classes. Okay. Now, from presently, my I'm work, work from home. Work from home due to this coronavirus. Yes, work from home here. Yes, uh, afternoon one o'clock I'll start my work. Okay, work from home. Okay, right. Next, uh, now currently, yes, night nine o'clock to yes, uh, one a.m. I'm giving support for US clients. Okay, US clients. Yes, that company name is Technosoft. Technosoft. Yes, you can search in Google. Technosoft or USA. So for this client, I'm giving support. Okay, giving support on Hadoop projects. Okay, Technosoft Corp USA. Okay. Yes, for this company, I'm giving support. Okay, for the Hadoop projects. Development completed. I'll deliver to them here. Now I'm giving support for the uh, company here, present projects. Okay. Yes, a client is Technosoft Corp USA. For this client, is Walmart is a client. Yes, I'll tell you that also. Here, Walmart is a client. Walmart is a client. Okay. For this ESA company here, for them client is Walmart. Client is Walmart. Yes, my support is for him for this company. Client is Walmart. For this Walmart, we have directly projects. For them, we are giving support. Okay, right? Okay, fine. So now, now presently night support here, nine o'clock to one a.m. support. Okay. Yes, afternoon just two hours. I'll work for the Hyderabad company. Yes, Hyderabad. Present the company is Silotech uh, Private Limited. Salutech Private Limited. This is my present company. Salutech Private Limited. Yes, actually Silotech. Originally, it's a Dbold. Dbold is my original company. Okay. From Dbold company, yes, our manager came out of this Dbold company and started this Silotech company. 
private limited now presently i am working for this this company here okay clients are d world is one client this d world is client for us now it's a client d world has become client for us d world is one client here thickness of the car psc one client next paypal is another client three clients i worked for three clients recent just past five years five to six years d world next paypal chennai paypal yes next yes present the client is this technocraft car psc these three these three clients presently working for these three clients yes so this is my payroll company yes silitech private limited it's my payroll company okay clients they are the clients presently working with these clients d world paypal sec technocraft car psc for three clients giving support okay right yeah let us continue so this is a yes picture the examples no the thing is presently daily presently i am working for this client this client's process completed here yes our team members giving support for this clients for this he said recently delivered this project for that client i am working here presently yes i have clients here these are my clients here but presently our team members are giving support for this presently yes as a senior i am giving support for this company here not for this one here suppose any issue raises okay serious issue that case i'll involve in dboard and paypal now presently client is this one here. client okay even one more thing i need not to work for 9 hours 10 hours just i'll work for 3 to 4 hours for any client okay presently here for this client i am working for 4 hours next yes silo tech this office yes this for this office here i am working for just hardly 2 hours daily totally 6 hours daily i am working here so 4 hours yes 4 hours or 9 to night 9, 9 o'clock to 1 am here 2 hours afternoon after 1 o'clock so between 1 to 5 any 2 hours i will work for this office silo tech here okay like uh, conducting stand up meetings okay Next, all that meetings and uh, taking status and uh, everything for that purpose, uh, daily two hours working for this company. So, four hours is for this client. Okay. Next, uh, when, when come to this uh, online training, morning two batches taking, evening two batches. Because of coronavirus, I'm taking evening two batches. Evening two batches uh, because of this coronavirus, because of this, I'm working from home, I'm getting more time here. Otherwise, I can't manage the evening batches, only morning. Morning two batches, that's it here not more much so only since last three months he had taken evening two batches okay previously i used to take only morning two batches just my choice only how do one linux that's it here i won't take others here only how do one linux now i'm taking python also because of this uh, coronavirus i got some extra time here so due to work from home i'm taking python python how do and linux this area okay my choice is always linux and how do because related things Linux, my choice is Linux. Next, how do next park and scale? These are these my choice because I'm working in this area. Okay, this is my area. Yes, my choice is of course park and scale. I'm taking weekends, weekdays time not possible because how do two hours required? Linux two hours. Okay, next Python two hours. Next park and scale taking weekends, not weekdays. Okay, okay, fine. Let us come to our topic. So this is a uh, about big data. I hope everyone you understand what is big data. Okay. So what is uh, so Spark and Scala? We'll see. Yes, sir. Uh, next within two weeks I'll plan it. Wait. Okay. So this is what is big data. That is clear. So what is Hadoop? Hadoop is a framework. The Hadoop is a framework to store and process big data to store and process big data right okay now with big data there are some challenges okay how to face all the challenges challenges there are some challenges from one big data challenges okay challenges what are the challenges of big data challenges from big data here. big data challenges from big data big data challenges so what are the challenges facing from big data okay kafka kafka i'm covering with spark and scala not in hadoop in spark i'm cover, covering kafka okay that time covering not here in, not in hadoop 
yes even for this module so is taking almost to uh, yes actually uh, 60 days we are announcing but it's taking almost uh, 75 to 80 days for this module only taking almost 80 days taking 80 to 90 days. last batch taken for 90 days almost okay yes adding topics adding goals and adding lot of time taken sir yeah five part it's a part of five uh, spark in spark framework five spark because i have the python experience and so we are replacing in this five spark also okay yeah that is a spark spark framework not yet in spark framework yeah now what are the challenges facing from big data big data challenges okay big data is simple we can say big data challenges what are the challenges which are facing from big data first main challenge is storage problem right main challenge is storage problem data storage main challenge is data storage okay right next what data processing big data processing yes big data processing so another challenge big data processing storage data processing next very large files handling very large files is not easy handling very large files very large files so very large files very large files data storage data processing very large files next one more challenge with this backup just taking backup of big data backup suppose any server crash recovering backup and recovery backup and recovery it's not easy data storage data processing very large files backup and recovery chair backup and recovery yes apart from this uh, main important one disaster management disaster okay disaster yes i have the good experience in disaster management with the default company yes sir i participated two times disaster activity here dr activity i have the very good experience with default company disaster yes management dr activity yes i'll tell you practically i'll tell, tell you that dr activity yes disaster management okay so dr activity dr activity disaster recovery any natural disaster happen how to recover your data center data center maybe 10000 computers 20000 computers okay then how to recover that for example in an other id if there are two data centers other id purpose two data centers one is bangalore another one haryana yes these two data centers everyone with 12000 computers more than 12000 servers they are using 12000 servers to maintain two copies okay we'll discuss one by one or everything we'll discuss so these are the big data challenges data storage data processing very large files backup and recovery here next uh, one more thing here yes high-end hardware also required here yes high-end hardware with big data high-end hardware right high-end hardware costly hardware maintenance right high-end hardware required hardware maintenance it's not easy these are all the big data challenges right Yes, how to face all the challenges so traditional systems traditional yes the traditional systems traditional systems like uh, like oracle database server oracle database server yes maybe mysql database server these are not in a position microsoft sql servers sql server okay microsoft sql server yes microsoft sql servers like this traditional systems like oracle My mysql microsoft sql servers okay sql and next like uh, some uh, linux file system yes file systems also even linux file systems linux file system yes windows file system yes they are traditional systems right these traditional systems yes, these traditional systems are not in a position to manage all the challenges their traditional systems are failing because of the reason yeah, Hadoop came to market. Hadoop is the right technology. Hadoop is the right technology. Yes, for all the big data challenges. Hadoop provides best solution. Hadoop provides best solution to face all big data challenges. Okay, now we should discuss about Hadoop here. So what is Hadoop? So what is Hadoop? How it's working? We'll start. Okay, yes. See. First data storage. So we should discuss about traditional, yes, sir, traditional, traditional 
systems versus Hadoop. This we should discuss. Traditional systems with traditional databases. Traditional systems versus Hadoop. This is most important. Traditional systems versus Hadoop. Hadoop versus Spark. Spark versus Ignite. Ignite is a yes, high, very high speed processing engine. Traditional systems next level is Hadoop. After Hadoop, next level is Spark. After Spark, next level is Ignite. Yes, industry not at reached Ignite level. Now, industry top 100, top 100 companies reached the Spark. Okay. Top 1000 companies using Hadoop. Top 100 companies using Spark. Okay, next, more than Spark, yes, Ignite. Very, very high speed processing engine. Okay, that is, yes, after finishing Hadoop, I'll tell you what is Spark, what is Ignite. Next levels. Yes, this is not a stage to understand Spark and those things. Yet. After finishing at the end, yes, one Sunday I will take the topic here. Traditional systems, Hadoop, next Spark and Ignite. These four things, four areas I'll explain very clearly. Yes, four hours I need. Any one Sunday I'll take it at the end of the course. Okay. So traditional systems are versus Hadoop. Yes, data storage. In traditional systems, how data storing? like a scaling concept vertical scaling and horizontal scaling yes we should discuss about that topic here okay in traditional system for example oracle in oracle database how data storing in how do how it's storing so data processing yes in oracle database oracle engine how it will process the data how do we engine how it process the data data processing next high-end hardware traditional systems and hardware care large files traditional systems hardware care so for everything we should compare this traditional systems versus Hadoop. So this topic tomorrow we'll discuss. Tomorrow topic is all the big data challenges, data storage in traditional systems and Hadoop care. Okay, data processing traditional systems and Hadoop care. High end hardware. What kind of hardware using traditional systems and Hadoop using care? Large files. How traditional systems handle large files? How Hadoop handle such? Okay, the backup and recovery and all the things, all the challenges we'll discuss between traditional systems and Hadoop. But yet, traditional systems are not in a position to face big data challenges. So yes, small data is no problem, but it's a big data, right? Hadoop provides best solution. Yes, what is the solution from the Hadoop for storage, data processing, high-end hardware, and large files? All the challenges, what is the solution from the Hadoop that we should discuss, okay? So for that purpose, I should compare traditional systems and Hadoop. So first I should explain traditional systems architecture, next Hadoop architecture. So once you understand these two architectures here, now you can understand the challenges. Yes, the topic tomorrow will continue. Okay. So this is just introduction. What is big data? What are big data challenge? Just only introduction. This is okay, right? Yes, sir. Any doubts? Yes, any doubt, guys? Yes, sir. What's the channel for big data? Yes, what is Spark and scale? next level? Next level of Hadoop. Hadoop next level is Spark. If you know the Hadoop, then you can understand Spark. Otherwise, you can't understand. Spark is fundamental for this. Base for this Spark. Okay. Yes, sir. Spark and scalar, yeah, within uh, two weeks we'll start Spark and scalar. Yes, because you must have somewhat Hadoop knowledge. After that, we can go for Spark and scale. Yes, hands-on experience. Yes, everything is hands-on experience, including cloud instance. I'm, I'll be explaining production environment. Practically, we'll see everything. Currently working as Linux admin. Yes, you can move to Hadoop admin simply. Just you can move to Hadoop admin. Yes, how to move to Hadoop admin? Yes, our course mainly focus on development. Develop mainly focus on Hadoop development here. Development. Yes, next mainly focus on Hadoop development. Next, apart from this, 60% of Hadoop admin are expensive. That is assurance from me. 60% of Hadoop admin, like Hadoop setup. Hadoop setup, cluster setup, cluster maintenance. Next, other Hadoop ecosystem like Hive setup. Next, Pig setup, Scoop, Scoop setup, all these setups. Actually, admin has to do that setup here. 
yes even we are the developers we, we must have that knowledge also that setup also i'll wait for okay already moved on huh? fine well and good yes any support is required i will explain okay i'll give the support if you want any any support in your job i can give the support no problem it's not an issue okay yes sir uh, for you guys uh, one second uh, whatsapp group created yes already group is there already i think uh, already 15 members joined with their group here yes today some new members yes previously already three four classes uh, demo given interaction given here uh, the topic i'll repeat once again okay yes don't worry yes this is my whatsapp number yes today new members yes you don't think uh, missing some nothing missing here today is the first day first day interaction for them just i explain how to set up the linux next how to set up for just for interaction given that's it here for you guys i'll repeat once again don't worry so whatsapp number yes 8179189123 just ping me your details i'll add to that group yes the batch already Going on. This is the match. Yes, sir. Not ten members. Thirteen members are there in that group. All the participants. Yes, sixteen participants means already here. Yes, sir. Uh, Fourteen members formed that batch. Okay, just only three, four classes. Just only set up sex find here. I'll repeat the topic. Don't worry. Okay, but for them this topic is not expanded. Today, what are we discussed here? This topic not expanded. This theory topic interaction is not expanded. Okay. So yeah, Cloudera. I'll explain. Yes, we'll be using Cloudera. It's not an issue. It's very simple Cloudera. Okay. Yeah, ping me your details. This is my WhatsApp number. Yes, your name. Okay, next WhatsApp course you taking. The course, your course. Next WhatsApp time. Just to ping me these, these details. I'll add to that group. Some extra that name here. Extra that. Yes, course, how do. Course, how do. Time. Yes, so 10 30. 10 30. So, daily class 10 30, 12 o'clock. Sometimes little bit may be exceeding also 12, 12, 10 also, 12, 10 or 12, 15 also. Okay. So prepare for the time here. So this is a time here. Just ping me what details I'll add to that group. I'll just I will add to that group here. Okay, every information shared in the group here. Every daily class. So daily class, yes, any notes is there, any document is, is there, I'll share in the group. Every day I'll share in the group. Okay, right? Yes. Any doubts? For any issues, just ping me in WhatsApp group or personal also, I can give support. Maybe setup issues, any kind of thing. Personally, I will connect your system. With the team member, I will connect your system. I will do the setup. If we are unable to do that, I will do that. I will help you regarding that. Don't worry. Every area, you can take my help. Don't feel shy. Don't feel shy here. Everyone. Okay. Yeah. First, one dot x version. Next, after that, two dot x version. We are going to work on the second version of Hadoop. We are going to work on second version, not one dot x version. First, I'll explain one dot x version so that you can understand what the disadvantage is. Disadvantage of one dot x version will discuss. After that, I'll go to second version. Okay, next, finally, third version, three dot x. Finally, three dot x. Okay, so first, our experience is completely. 2.x version. We are going to work on 2.x version completely. So first initially introduction is 1.x version. Three days only. Three or four days. This is after that we move to second version. Finally last three days 3.x version. Okay. Your daily classes recordings available. Recordings. Daily recordings available. Yes. Created separate drive for that. Yes. You can watch it. Daily you can watch it. We will share the URL for drive. Separate for your batch, separate drive created. In the drive already videos uploaded. Okay, some two or three classes complete the three, four class videos already uploaded. You can watch it. Yes, we'll share the URL. 
Okay, definitely will share the URL. Okay, right. Next, anything? Yes, daily recordings videos available and document class documents also available. I'll provide everything. Hands on experience. Okay. Yes, anyone is okay if you practicing. Okay. Yes, offline, online, anyone is okay. Here, if you practicing every day, anyone is okay. Okay, no problem. Right, okay. Yes, so let us wind up for today's class. So this is my WhatsApp number. Please ping me what details I will add to that group. Okay, right? Yeah. So let us wind up. So thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow will continue. Yes, ending session. Shall I? Still any doubts? Okay. Yes. Thank you guys. Have a great day.